Visit papersailor.com to get your copy of Accidental Sailor Girl. We're on the cover of South Winds. Got to pick up your copy. It's free. And uh, I'll probably have three articles going into it. Uh, this is article number one. And then uh, uh, March and April I'll have an article going in as well. Anyway, I just wanted to update you on that. And uh, here's the video that I made for this week. Hello, everybody. I got a lot of good reviews on uh, You Know You're a Sailor When. So here's part two of You Know You're a Sailor When. And I had a bunch extra from the first time, so this is kind of the extras that, uh, that came off of the first one. Uh, I didn't want to make it too long. Um, so here's part two of it. You know you're a sailor when you feel seasick on land. You come back from a real long trip, a real long journey, and as soon as you get inside of a house or a building, or even just stepping onto a dock, you might feel a little seasick when you step onto shore. You also find sometimes that land can be a little more comfortable. Uh, you got a nice comfy couch to lay on that's always dry. Unless your roof leaks, then it's not dry. But that's besides the point. You also know you're a sailor when you're on land and you might be at a friend's house and you offer to do dishes and you do dishes like this. You also know you're a sailor when you are used to hearing the single sideband and the crackling noise that happens when you're trying to listen to people talking and figuring out what they're saying and maybe even trying to answer back. Hard to hear. Tactical, yeah. I hear you loud and clear. How you doing out there, Tony? You also know you're a sailor when you pick your groceries out by the size of the carton or the quantity that you receive. Because you don't have a lot of space to store it. You know you're a sailor when your laundry is piled high. You've been cruising and you haven't been able to do any laundry, so you end up with a big old pile. Sometimes stuff just starts kind of piling up and when, it, when you're in a small space, um, all that stuff piled up, uh, sometimes if, it, if you haven't used it in over six months, it's time for it to go bye-bye. Bye-bye! You know you're a sailor when your favorite pillow becomes moldy or something that you really like is dripped on or becomes eaten by the boat. I don't know where my brush went. It must have got lost in the bilge a long time ago. These pillows are waterproof. You gotta be real careful with things like instruments. You try to put them in dry places of the boat. You know you're a sailor when it's raining and you might be at work or somewhere on shore and you are secretly thinking, did I close the port above my pillow? Did I close the butterfly hatches? Did I leave the refrigerator on so then it might kill the battery down because there's no sun? Did I remember to turn the bilge pump on? Did I put my banjo down below? Did I leave my shoes outside? Back and I wonder if I left my rain jacket. I didn't bring an umbrella. Did I remember to close the front companionway? I hope my anchor's holding good. I see that it's blowing. I wonder if I can make it home today. It seems like it's raining really good. I hope my dinghy isn't filling up with water. I hope my bail bucket doesn't float away out of my dinghy. I hope I tied down that fishing pole. It's blowing pretty good. Yeah, I remembered all those things. Didn't I? 
You know you're a sailor when you're walking around stores, and you might be walking with friends, and they're finding a lot of cute house stuff, and you see all the cute house stuff, and you're like, yeah, that's really cute, I wish I could get it. And then in the back of your head, you're like, mm, I can't, it's not boat friendly. Last but not least, you know you're a sailor when your weekends become weekends on the boat. Probably working on it. Speaking of weekends, I hope everybody had a good weekend. Uh, today was sunny. I heard that it might get a little rainy tomorrow, so I'll be doing my checklist of all the things to remember. So here's an update on the bus. Spot prime the bus tomorrow. Now it's all primed. Next we sand it down and get it ready for the seafoam green. Now we do the white on top after. We'll sand down the white on top and tape off the green and spray the top. Hope you guys have a good weekend. I'm gonna enjoy the sunshine.